Hawkins, and today on Dove Talks, we're meeting with Katherine Galach, Associate Superintendent of Grand Forks Public Schools. She's going to share more about our partnership and how we work together to prevent violence. So you are very aware as a board member that we have um, a Safer Tomorrow's Roadmap, so a long-range vision to end violence, and education is a key pillar of that plan. I'm curious what your perspective is, um, some of the ways you've seen the generations you're dealing with, how they've been impacted by, since we've, we implemented the map roughly five years ago. So I can assuredly say that our students have built a greater capacity around how to recognize unhealthy relationships, how to intervene and help when they might see acts of wrongdoing. They understand um, the nuances of a positive dating relationship or romantic relationship better than they did before. And so having an outside entity like CVIC come in with your staff who is really immediately able to connect with kids um, to deliver some of those messages and have kids think about things differently has been really important to building capacity amongst our youth. We recently did some data, actually not in Grand Forks Public Schools, but the rural schools, and it was just really fun to see the correlation between the education and um, those you know, one of the questions we ask is bullying. You know, have you, on the honor system, have you bullied anyone? And it's just really neat to see that two years ago, that was 19%, now it's 11. So with little littles, you know, these are elementary kids, so. Right, yeah. and, and we want that number to be down to less than 1% like, really right? in the end. And a long-standing colleague of mine once told me, you know, hurt people hurt people. So when we talk about our youth and having them develop a better esteem about themselves and a more healthy way to, do, deal with their own internal anxieties or, or own internal pains can help decrease that bullying number as well because they have a different place to put that or to process that. So that's a great segue to our next question because you and I just got back a couple of weeks ago from New York with a couple of our colleagues and it was really fun. We were recognized by Mutual of America for a community partnership award. The Safer Tomorrow's Roadmap was kind of the the umbrella, but the specific piece was the partnership we have with Grand Forks Public Schools. Can you tell us a little bit about the partnership and how we interface with your team? Absolutely. So the partnership is really comprehensive in the sense that it entails therapy services for youth that might be victims themselves or have witnessed acts of violence in their home. And then there's the educational piece. And the educational piece, I think, is really multifaceted. And the curricula is geared towards the littles when they're working with the littles. You know, it starts with that. What makes a good friend? And how do, how do you behave as a positive friend as well? And as we graduate up towards middle school, we start to talk more about those romantic relationships and even identifying to nicely disagree with somebody else so that it doesn't escalate into something different. And then once we get into the high school, that's where more of those in-depth conversations come around more romantic type relationships or how to advocate for yourself or others in, when you recognize that there is really a significant wrongdoing going on in somebody else's relationship. And so the, the curricula is really scaffolded to the developmental ages of the students, which I think is important because then they can relate to the content. Mm -hmm. And so those are classroom-based lessons. There are also lessons that are geared towards um, leaders, uh, kind of student leaders. And I think the, the leadership lessons are really well designed. CVIC's approach to it and the multifaceted approach is really um, what's going to make the difference long-term for ending violence. And that's what I love about our curriculum is it's meeting them where they are and acknowledging it probably is confusing. I mean, I never thought about that. If you think about the media messaging that our youth are facing these days and, and how they're supposed to look and mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of salacious imaging out there and that's what gets attention and our young women are facing an esteem crisis because of that because they're constantly comparing themselves to these polished individuals mm -hmm. and the messaging around not just how you, one should look but but the enticements of what one should do to get attention I think are really a disservice to our our youth mm -hmm. and so having an organization like CVIC that's willing to partner with the schools to help kids see that that's not necessarily how one should live life and how right. one right. what one should aspire to do or be is really important yeah it's so important and, and it this is how I think we're going to get to our, our end game, which is resilient individuals and strong families and thriving communities. So when you think about the Safer Tomorrow's Roadmap, 
and the educational piece of that, what does your, and your hopes and dreams for an ideal learning environment, what does that look like to you? Yeah, well, we know that learning could not take place without relationship. We know that, or it's highly variable. There are some kids mm -hmm. and adults even that are motivated to learn intrinsically uh, on their own. But every year, at the start of the year, in every building across our campus, we talk about the relationships that we want to form with students healthy, professional, positive relationships. And that is the sort of culture that then we want to create in our building writ large. So we want students to interact with one another in a positive manner. We want them to pick one another up. We want them to challenge one another, but do so appropriately so that it's kind of growth oriented, growth mindset oriented. We work on that within our schools every single year. So when you talk about a place where a child should go to learn, they should be able to express themselves for who they are. They should be allowed space to explore who they are without fear of retribution from others. Um, they should have the ability to take risks and fail and have people around them give them grace to learn from that and to grow because that's what life is all about. Mm -hmm. So the lessons that, that come through CVIC in partnership with Grand Forks Public Schools just really help bolster that solid, safe, supportive, collaborative, united learning environment where all, all are welcome. I love that. And I love that we, that there's that space for them to, to grow and learn about themselves too. Cause it is, it's hard to be a kid right now. Like it's, it's a tough environment, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Well, Appreciate I think you. we could talk about education for an hour. So, we'll end <laughs>